The Toronto District School Board is facing tough decisions to make up for a $67 million shortfall in their budget. That's $13 million more than they were expecting and could result in cuts to custodians, guidance counselors, even IB programs at elementary schools. They say it's thanks to changes in provincial funding and Premier Doug Ford didn't hide his feelings in the legislature today, calling the TDSB's spending out of control. They put these numbers out to the public premature Opposition before, order. before they even know the numbers. They're just throwing these numbers out arbitrarily. Premier only knows up, needs to hold up a mirror to see reckless, out of control and premature. They spent over $700,000 to replace some locks, locks on schools. It's outrageous spending we see. They went out and spent $143 on a pencil sharpener. I knew the Premier wanted to be the Mayor of Toronto. Now he wants to be the Superintendent of the Toronto <laughs> District School Board. Now, some of those numbers you heard the Premier referencing come from a Toronto Star investigation that was done back in 2012. So, some parents calling the reference completely outdated, and they say it may not be so easy to find those efficiencies. There is no um, great um, inefficiency. There are probably small amounts and some that's flexible, some of which the board has had to cut this year. Um, but the concept that there's $67.8 million in efficiency to be found is not true. But Education Minister Lisa Thompson says it is entirely possible to find those efficiencies that make up less than 1% of the TDSB's $2.97 billion budget. If we take a historic look at TDSB, we know for a fact for at least five years they've been running operational deficits and now they're trying to play politics and they're doing nothing more than creating anxiety and causing fear mongering amongst our students and our parents. Do you feel worried about the education that your daughter is going to receive? So I feel mad. I don't feel worried. I feel mad about all the cuts that are, that are hurting vulnerable people in the province of Ontario. Thompson also disagreeing with the TDSB's estimate of a $67 million shortfall, saying it'll be less than half of that at $21 million. The confusing math becoming a common theme when it comes to these provincial cuts. Currently, the city and province are at odds over just how much Toronto public health funding will suffer under health care cuts. And the TDSB is standing by their number. They tell us in a statement, we remain confident that based on all the information that we have been provided, our $67.8 million shortfall, including $42 million in provincial reductions, is accurate.